This week I'm going to talk about the number one determining factor for success in all areas of your life. You do not want to miss out on this because this is so important and so key toward building towards your goals and achieving big things and improving your life. So if you like this video, please share with others, smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss out. I'm going to keep these videos coming out every week to help you discover your best self and improve your life. Let's get after it. Delayed gratification is the number one determining factor of success in all areas of your life, whether that's building wealth or starting a side hustle or a business or trying to lose weight. You have to be able to put off those pleasures in the present so you can gain long term gains in the future. That is what delayed gratification is all about. So for example, if you're trying to build long-term wealth and retire early, you have to avoid things today like going out and spending money partying every weekend or buy expensive clothes. Those are things that will give you pleasure now. Those are instant gratification, things that make you feel good right in this moment. But when you do those things, you delay your long-term goals. So if you want to do big things in life, you have to start delaying your gratification. One way you can do that is to create long-term goals that you can focus on. If you don't have a long-term goal that you are looking forward to or aiming towards, then you're not going to be able to change your short-term decisions. So for example, if you are trying to lose 20 pounds, that's your goal for this year, then you're going to start making decisions that align with that goal. But if you don't have a goal to begin with, then your short-term decisions are going to always go for that immediate pleasure rather than that long-term goal. So you need to start thinking long-term about what you want to achieve a year ahead, 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead. If you don't start planning that far ahead, you're not going to be able to change your behavior today. So start thinking about what do I want my life to look like 20 years down the road. The more you can make it exact and distinct and really hone in on what you want to achieve far down the road, the more likely you're going to change your behaviors to align with that long-term goal. Once you have that long-term goal, then you need to attach an emotional feeling to it. You need to understand why you want to achieve that goal. Your why needs to be so big that you can always come back to it. So for example, again, if you are trying to lose 20 pounds, why do you want to do that? If you don't have a strong why, then you're always going to turn back and eat that donut in the short term or not exercise today because you don't feel like doing it. A strong why will give you enough fuel to keep going even when you're not motivated. So a strong why may look like, I want to lose 20 pounds so that I can play with my kids when they get older or my grandkids when I get older. And I know if I take care of myself now, I can do that in the future. So build a strong why around your goal and that will keep you from going for instant gratification and start aiming to delay that gratification. The last thing you can do is to reflect on your choices, to journal, to meditate, do something to constantly be looking back on your daily choices so you have an understanding of where you might be making mistakes and where you're making those good choices that go towards your long-term goals. When I first started journaling, I didn't really think much of it, but when I started to actually look at what I was writing and really taking the time to reflect, I started to understand how my choices weren't always aimed towards my long-term goals. If you're not constantly going over and reflecting on your choices, then there's a good chance you're missing out on opportunities or missing those moments where you could have made a different choice. So it's good to reflect with journaling or meditating to make sure that you are moving in the right direction and avoiding instant gratification. Delayed gratification is so important towards achieving your big goals in life, and it's so important that you adopt it early and start practicing it now. It's not going to be easy at first, but the more you can keep practicing it, the easier it becomes. Remember, follow these steps of having a strong why, a strong goal, and then reflecting on what you need to do and what you need to change, and you'll be able to start putting off those short-term pleasures and start delaying your gratification and moving towards your long-term goals. Get after it this week.